Hey everybody, I'm Dean and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today uh, I'm going to talk about what a local host is, what the IP address 127.0.0.1 is, and what a loopback is uh, in TCP IP. And so, you've probably seen the name of the alias localhost, and you've probably seen 127.0.0.1. Localhost actually resolves to 127.0.0.1. And, and this is a special IBP address that is known as a loopback. And what this is, is it actually is used to reference the machine that you are uh, logged into. Uh, so let's take a look at this over here by looking at some machines that we have on a local area network right here and on the internet. So this is my local area network right here, and this is my my workstation that I'm logged into, uh, 192.0.2.20. And here is a server that is on my local area network. So if I want to connect to this server, all I need to do is enter this IP address or uh, an alias to the IP address um, that will resolve to that IP address. Uh, this is my router here. If I want to ping my router or something, I can use this IP address here that ends in dot one to access that. Now, if I want to access my local machine, uh, like if I want to ping it or access a web server on it from my local machine, I can use this IP address here. But I might not know this IP address. And I might not want to look it up or take the time to look it up, or I may be going to a series of workstations or servers, and I may want to like ping the machine or run another command that involves the, the IP address or test a web server that's on the machine, number of things I might want to do. I can use localhost or 127.0.0.1 to resolve to that. So for example, if I bring up a command prompt here, if I want to ping my local machine, I can just go ping localhost. And it will test my machine right here. I can also do the same thing and get the same result by going 127.0.0.1 because they're the exact same thing. So that's a, that's a fairly useful thing to know for multiple reasons and multiple commands like for example if you do connect like a web server that does something locally on the machine and it's only running to do a particular process that you're only going to access locally you may use local host a lot of times also uh, when um, programs are installed on a server or a workstation they might have an administrative uh, web interface so they might be running a little web server in in that's only used for an administrative uh, web face for the particular application that's on the workstation or server, you can use localhost or 127.0.0.1 to access it. Finally, let's look at this in, in another way. So as I said, if I'm sitting in a machine, the localhost is localhost or this IP address 127.0.0.1. But if I, um, log in remotely via, say, a terminal or remote desktop to this server right here. In remote desktop or in my remote terminal, I can use localhost to refer to this machine. So the context changes. The same is true if I uh, remote desktop into or use a terminal to log into a machine that's over the internet. Uh, either of these things, I can use localhost to refer to this machine. So if I'm remotely connected to a machine, anything that I uh, type in the interface that's connected to that machine, whether it's remote desktop or a terminal, will reference that particular machine. So that's what localhost does and what a loopback is. I'm Dean, and this has been Dino's Tech World, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.